Trickers was founded in 1829 by master shoemaker Joseph Tricker. Five generations later, his family continued to apply the same traditional skills in the production of their world-renowned shoes. I'm meeting fifth-generation owner Nick Baltrop to see how those skills are still alive and kicking today. So Nick, what are the steps to making a fine shoe? Well, this is where it all, it all starts, yeah. um, with, the, with the cutting out of all the little pieces which go into making the, the upper of the shoe. And Ricky here is doing it by hand, which is how we do it with all the handmade shoes. Um, a lot of detail goes in, into this and it's very labour intensive. Yeah. So Ricky's cutting out for the, for the fine shoes, mm -hmm. the, the bespoke shoes, is yes. that right? Yeah. It's great that you're keeping these skills alive. It's, it's not easy, yeah. not easy. We do have to do a lot of training in-house. Um, but yeah, the, the skills are there, but you have to put the time in and, and, tra and train the youngsters. Yeah, it must feel good though, being one of the, the last few companies that make shoes in this way. Yeah, we're, we're very proud of it. So what's the next stage, then, Nick? Well, the ne next stage is, is skiving, as we, as we see it here. Skiving? Yes. Ooh, what's that mean? And what, what you'll see here is that what Dawn has done is she's, she's reduced the edge from a big thickness here oh, yeah. down to a pretty thin oh, edge yes, there, yeah. which is going to aid the sewing through the, through the leather, because another piece of leather will come over the top of this one, Right. so you have to reduce the thickness down. Otherwise it would be too thick to get, to get the, the thread through. With a, with a bump. Oh yes, the difference is amazing, isn't it? Mm. How many will Dawn get through? She's working pretty fast there. She looks like she's doing fairly, fairly quickly. Yeah. 200 pairs a day. Yeah. 200 pairs a day. Dawn, that's, that's, that's pretty speedy work. I love that. This looks interesting. What's happening here then, Nick? Well, this is the next stage in the process of the handmade bespoke footwear. And this is Scott, and he's lasting the uppers, which you saw being made in the closing room, onto the individual lasts. And the last of uh, the wooden sh sort of foot shape. That's right. Mold. Yeah. The, the last is made according to the measurements which are taken of the customer's foot, and we then build the shoe around that last. Wow, so, and so each customer who's asked for a bespoke shoe will have their very own last made Exactly them. right, yes. Oh, wow. And do they change their, their foot, foot shapes feet, over time? Oh, feet can change. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. so, and every time that the customer orders a new pair, he will have his foot measured again. Wow. Just to make sure that everything is still as it was originally. This is very specialised work. How long did it take you to get to this level of skill, Scott? Uh, it took me about few years, oh, really? but I've been doing it for seven years now, eight years. Good gracious. And there's very few of you who could do this, isn't there? Um, there's only two other people that I know, and they're both retired now, so... Wow. Yeah, it's only me, I could say. Good gracious. And so, how long will this take you to, to do this stage? Um, just one foot would take me about an hour to do, just to get it to that stage. Oh, wow. Good gracious. I've heard that you can tell a fine shoemaker because the pins in his teeth mean... They affect his teeth. Your, your teeth look all right, actually. Now, there's yeah. some good dental work there, Scott. You're all right. <laughs> that was fantastic. Some very well-known people have their shoes made here at Trickers, but it's not really the done thing to reveal their identities. It's certainly an investment. A pair of made-to-order shoes will cost up to £500, while a pair of fully bespoke handmade shoes will cost upwards of £1,000. But shoes of this quality can last a lifetime. Everybody's going for those kinky boots, kinky boots. So this is the very final step. That's right. What happens here? Well, Donna's uh, putting the shoes, the finished shoes, into the boxes. And it really feels like a, a luxury product because it's just beautiful packaging, beautifully presented. And what I love as well is the fact that these shoes will have all been touched by humans. They're not purely machine-made. No, that's right. 
Exactly right. I mean, there's 266 different operations that go into a pair of tricky shoes. 266? Yes. And, and how many people may have come into contact with them? We employ 92, so 92 could have come in contact with every pair of shoes. They are very beautiful. It's fine craftsmanship, isn't it? <laughs> and off they go to some very lucky buyer. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I've started my journey in the county town of Northampton. But when the one shows Christine walked and visited, she headed out into the countryside to explore the county's rolling fields.